first human space flight through SpaceX. This is going to be a huge, huge moment for not only SpaceX, but also for the United States, because the last time we launched astronauts from the United States soil was in 2011 for the space shuttle program. Ever since the space shuttle program shut down, every time humans have launched a space um, for well, American astronauts, they've launched through the Soyuz capsule, which is through Russia, and it would launch out of Kazakhstan, costing it around $81 million per seat. Now, although it's awesome to have international collaborations, this is still so exciting because this is a huge moment just generally for humanity to be shifting forward into this launch. I, I, I couldn't choose a better background than the Falcon Heavy behind me because this also was just such an extraordinary moment. And yes, I am wearing my Falcon 9 t-shirt with me right now. So I'm gonna go through with you guys all the different stats and everything you need to know about this launch. So for one, it's going to be next Wednesday, May 27th at around 4.20 p.m. Eastern Time. It's going to be launching out of Cape Canaveral, Florida, which is down at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And it's going to be launching off of Launch Pad 39A. Now this Falcon 9 rocket specifically is the Falcon 9 Block 5 configuration. That means it's the most recently updated version of the Falcon 9 rocket. Um, there have been Block 5 configurations that have already returned to Earth, so they are reusable. Usable. However, for this mission specifically, they're going to use a brand new Falcon 9 Block 5, which of course makes sense. It's because they have humans on board, so they want to make sure it's uh, tip and top and per perfect. Tip and top is not really a term, but whatever. In these images that SpaceX just shared yesterday, that was of the Dragon capsule all ready to go um, on Launchpad 39A with the Falcon 9 rocket, you could actually see other first stages that have been used already and it's so freaking cool because these um yeah this is a reusable rocket so uh, what happens is after stage separation which means that first stage separates from the intercore and then second stage um, it will then deploy its legs and so it has landing legs and then it's going to ignite its engines to then um, have it land safely here on Earth. And it's so just, I can't express to you what it's like to see something like this in real life. I'm gonna share some footage here with you guys that I shared probably two years ago already um, because I happened to be on Venice Beach in California and a SpaceX launch was happening. <gasps> Dude! Dude! Oh, SpaceX! Look at that separation! Oh my God! <laughs> That's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. You can hear everyone freaking out. You hear everybody freaking out here. Oh my gosh. This is insane. I can hear everyone screaming. Oh my gosh. Someone just said spaceship. People are freaking out. This is insane. Amazing, man. Wow. That's the rocket. Seen from Santa Monica. Look at the colors. Good. It's it's kind of dark, but. You can see the reflection of my glasses. Now, one of the main reasons it's called Falcon 9 is because it has nine Merlin engines on it. And that produces somewhere around 1.7 pounds of thrust at sea level. And then it can produce up to 1.8 pounds of thrust in, a, in the vacuum of space. And it's like, it is so, so powerful. Like to hear when this goes off is extraordinary. And of course it's going to have tons of water being released like literally thousands of pounds of water being released during to lift off just under here to help absorb some of that vibration so that you know the supplies on board or the crew on board 
aren't so disrupted by the vibrations of the liftoff because those engines are really, really powerful. There are so many amazing things that I want to talk with you guys about from the spacesuits that were used with 3D printed helmets to the inside of Crew Dragon and then the astronauts, of course. So we have Doug Hurley and astronaut Bob Benkin, and I am so excited for this. Oh my gosh, I can't imagine what it feels like for them to be right now at Kennedy Space Center, six days before launch, just ready to go. Astronaut Bob Benkin, who actually flew on the space shuttle. Now, this is actually Atlantis, but he flew on the space shuttle Endeavor for SDS 123 and 130. He's clocked in over 708 hours in space. It's incredible. The second astronaut that's going to be on board for the Crew Dragon mission is going to be astronaut Doug Hurley, who's on SDS 127 and 135. He's done over 683 hours in space. It's incredible. Now, I know all of my space fans are watching this video and are so excited for this launch, but I want to take a moment to talk to my fellow fashion models out there, my fellow fashion designers, photographers, actors, um, financial institute <laughs> employees, um, business owners, everyone that's in different industries that isn't in science, and take a moment to watch this launch because this is a huge turning point for humanity right now, especially here in the United States. You know, I, I can't help but think about how we haven't launched humans from the United States since 2011. I personally have never seen a space shuttle launch before into space. And to know that this is going to be happening again, that this is going to be common, that we're going to have humans launching to space frequently, it truly is us reaching a new level of evolution for humanity. We are now shifting into becoming more of a space exploring species as far as humanity goes, we've already had robots, we have telescopes, we're already exploring space through other sources, but now it's going to be personal. It's gonna be very personal. It's going to be humans adventuring into the cosmos. And for that alone, I think that it's so important to recognize just how extraordinary this moment is. So to the astronauts that are going on board Ad Astra, to SpaceX, to NASA, to everyone who's been part of this project for the Crew Dragon, to the stars, I give you guys so much of my heart and soul into this. And everyone is so excited for this. We're all watching and we're all rooting for you. Go Dragon, go SpaceX, go NASA.